What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy. Can't teach y'all any do shit. Hey man, stay man. We are Liddy. Liddy, turn, 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 turn. Today, it's motherfucking day. Straight here outside crib, man. Gang, 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 go. We turn, gang, gang. Make sure y'all turn up with your boy. Palestine, we fine with you. Congo, we fine with you. Russia, we crane ass. Chase, fix these damn borders up. Hey man, say man. I put the work in for y'all, gang. And, and just to have faith in y'all way, gang. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna give up. We're gonna go hard every day, man. Um, we the wheelchairs away. You dig what I'm saying? Never, never stop believing in yourself and believing the, the people, the one who created you. You know what I'm saying? And that's Yahweh. Make sure y'all um stay in tune and let's get into this bitch, man. This is a good one. And yeah, all right, boom. Today, it's my fucking day. Show you outside crib, gang. Gang, go. Tight shit. So this is what we finna talk about, man. So you know we don't really look at NBA young boy shit, man. But so shit came up, and your boy is gonna talk about it, man. So we gonna talk about G Money. G Money, man. We know he's a New Orleans rapper. You know what I'm saying? Who was coming up with NBA Young Boy? Unforeseen situation. G Money went to the other realm. So his grave got vandalized today. Crip. And we really don't know who did it. It got vandalized, I think, like two days ago or today or yesterday. And you know, everybody is frustrated. The people who frustrate the most is. The people who frustrate the most is um, G Money Mama. Because it's like, you know, they already been through so much. They already been through so much. And for, you know, just for this to, to happen, you know, that make a nigga go crazy. Y'all already done took a son. Y'all vandalized the mural. And then y'all vandalized the grave. Hey, but that's the thing, you know. When niggas dissing hard, going heavy in the streets while they alive. Unfortunately, when you're dead, they're going to fuck with you even more. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you want your grave site to be well protected. But niggas ain't got time to be protecting grave sites forever. You know what I'm saying? And so, a, a, lot, more, a lot of people talked about it, man. Some people were trying to say, it was 12, the popos. Because we've seen before. Popos are bitch ass niggas. Pussy, white boys. They shoot the grave. I seen one time where they shooting the grave of somebody who done died up just to keep a gang war going. Popos are the most scummiest pieces of shit on the earth. They just want to make money on and get us killed and say that we did it and make the other people mad. So the whole situation crazy, man. Um, NBA Youngboy, this came out a few weeks ago. About, I guess it's when Yaya, or whatever name, Maya or some shit, got arrested. This is Floyd Mayweather's daughter got arrested for stabbing on um, one of the young boy's side pieces at the crib. And it went down. So, you know, they had to go through all the extra shit. So, we got both of the videos. I hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. And let's get into it. Alright, this is after um 
the stabbing of Money Maya. I mean, not Money Maya. Maya. This shit is wild. instructions to you mm -hmm. okay so every time I ask you if you understand you need to tell me if you understand or not okay just calm down I'm just instructions and then we're gonna start some questioning oh uh, for now I'm not I, I don't know they just took her to the hospital I hope she's okay okay so uh, give me one second. come here I'm not going anywhere. why did you guys why did you guys take my fiance he didn't Man, right now, we don't know. What the fuck are you doing? That's what we're trying to ask. So, just give me a few minutes, okay? Okay, so I'm going to uh, read these instructions to you, okay? You have the right to remain silent and not make any statement at all. And any statement you make may be used against you at your trial. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Any statement you make may be used as evidence against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to have a lawyer present to advise you prior to and during any questioning. Do you understand? Yes. 
If you are unable to employ a lawyer, you have the right to be, have a lawyer appointed to advise you prior to and during any questioning. Do you understand? Can you repeat it again? If you are unable to employ a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed to advise you prior to any, during any questioning. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to terminate this interview at any point. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, are you willing to talk to us and tell us what happened? Can you state your name for record? Ayana. Loudly, please. Ayana. Last name? Mayweather. Okay, what's the mm. date of birth? 522,000. Okay, you want to tell us uh, what happened exactly today? Yeah, I'm going to be finding you guys. So, Mayweather's um, daughter. Me and my fiance. What's his name? Control. Okay. We had um, got, the got into an argument, and uh, he told me to leave the house. He must have the hurt. And so, I left. And then I left and went for a walk, but I left my phone here. So then I came back to get my phone, and then I was still trying to stay at the house. And um, he was he was telling me to leave. And then I didn't know it was a girl here. She came down to fight me, and we had like started fighting or whatever. And I just like I ran and, and I uh, I ran and I grabbed knives out of the kitchen. Uh -huh. And all I remember is like her pulling my hair, and I just like. When she was pulling my hair, I just put my head down and I just like swung the knives and I like, hit my so head. So she hit. was upstairs. Huh? She was upstairs when you came. She was yeah. When I came in the house, she was upstairs, but then she came downstairs. She came down. Yeah. And okay. And what did she say when she came down? Um, telling me to get out the house. She started telling you to get out the house. Yeah. Okay. And what did you do? Um, I I told her that I didn't have like he's my fiance. I don't have to leave the house. Okay. And then, um, that's when, like, she yeah, started, um, she tried fighting. Imagine me, fighting over it. And then, like, what, what exactly she did? Um, you know, I, I, I can't, I'm, like, man. in shock right now, so I can't really remember everything. Okay, take your time. But, um, did she that's, come? that's why my lip is busted. Okay. We had started, we had, we had started fighting. And then, so I had, uh, I had, like, got away from her, and I went, and I grabbed I grabbed two knives, and then um, she had like came back towards me. Like she was like, like at first I was like running like away from her with the knives, and then she had like pulled my hair like my hair back. And then all I remember is I just pulled my hair back, my head came back down, and then I just like swung the knives and I hit her. Okay, and, and how did you got your lip busted? Oh, um, she hit me. At what? I mean, what point did she? Hit you on your face. When we first started fighting. So when she approached you, uh, you guys were having a verbal argument, and then she started chasing you, or no, she, no, she punched you. But she came. And she, she came. And she. Um, we just like she came. Like she came downstairs and like she told me to get out, and then she started. Like, she told you to get out of the house. Yeah. Okay. And we did she touch you at that point? Yes. What did she do? She hit me. She hit you how? Um, in my face. She punched you? Yeah. With your right hand or left hand? I don't remember. You don't remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. And was he was your was your fiance was he there? Yeah, he was. At sure. the whole point at the whole time he was there? Um, not the um not the whole time, but when like he heard us he wasn't there the whole time, but when he well he was inside the whole time, but um he he didn't when when we started um fighting he came to You guys are gonna love this. He came to like make up the to break up the fight. Was he was he there from when she came down? Was he down here with you as well? As well? He was no, he was in the um in the master bedroom. I don't know what he was doing. Then he had came out, and that's when he was trying to break up the fight. So were you guys shouting when you guys were fighting? A little bit. Well, so did he heard the shouting? Did he did he come out at that point? So as soon as she came down, she started shouting on you. He came out as well? Um, yeah, I guess, like, he came out when she came. Okay, so, uh, she approached you, and then what? She she hit you on your face, or what? I told you that, yes. And then what? And then, after, so, she, so, she came down, she was telling me to get out the house. She hit me, she hit me in my face, and then I went... Okay. Was it as like a slab? Was it an open fist? No, she punched me. That's why she punched you. Busted. Okay. And so, uh, we like we were fighting, 
like after she hit me, we had started fighting, and then. And what was this when when you guys? Like got... by the like right, like like between the stairs and the kitchen, and then I had ran. I had got away, like I had got away from her when we were fighting, and I grabbed knives, and then she was still telling me to get out, and I was telling her no, I'm not getting out. And that's when she pulled my hair back, and I and all I remember is her pulling my hair back. And I came forward, and I had my head down like this, and I just swung with the knives in my hand, and I did it. So well, she was chasing you in the kitchen? Before. She chased me through the kitchen. But to, Mayweather's to daughter, she's going to go home. She's going to be having a hand. You I Mayweather's daughter, too. Okay, and how, how you guys ended up to the main gate? The main gate? Yeah. We were That's where she was lying down? Oh, um, she, um... She had walked, like she was her Girl, she sounds slow as hell. So she I had, ain't gonna like, cap. And Mayweather, like, you know, he can't read. Her, and then I this bitch sounds slow as hell. You call 911? Yeah. Okay. So, apart from punching on your face, did she hurt you? Um, I don't know if I have, like, any, I don't she, know she if She pulled I your have, hair and she yeah. punched you and that's it? Yeah. I don't know if I have um, any more bruises anywhere, but yeah, that's it. She okay. didn't do anything else. Okay. And I have a few I have a few scratches on my wrist, and then I have a scratch on my forehead. Okay. And did you did you uh, swung with both knives or one knife? Um, I don't remember. I just remember putting my head down and I just like swung my hand. So but you I had don't two know, knives in your hand. Yeah, but I don't know like if both knives hit her or just one. Okay, so you had a knife in every each hand. Yeah, both hands. Okay. Crazy. So the whole reason was just because she was asking you to leave the house. Well, she was trying to put me out of my fiance's house, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. And I, I don't know her. Like, I don't know her. You don't know her? I don't know her. I never. Is this the first time you see her? Yeah. Yeah. I never see her again. Okay. And do you live here or? Yeah, I'm supposed to. Yeah. No. Where do you live? I go back and forth between here and Vegas. Vegas. Okay. All right, give me a few minutes. Bro, it's crazy. It like these hoes just be signed up for herpes. You know what I'm saying? All these hoes, they, they ready to catch the herpes jerpies. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, they're like, damn, this NBA young boy. Let's go get the herpes jerpies. God damn. Knife and name. It's just when a girl grabbed her, the knife hit her. Mm -hmm. That's what I keep telling him, man. Like, my girl ain't doing nothing wrong. The girl who got stabbed, she gonna tell you that, man, she didn't, she didn't stab her, like, she didn't try. Ain't no weapons in here, nothing. Yeah, that's I kept girl, telling yeah. him, though, my pay, my, I paid him my money, I kept telling him, man, I'm saying you nothing. Yeah. The one with the hell, I guess, he the owner of the company. What does that mean? And the one outside work for him. That's not glad. Yeah, man, bullshit, man. For one, the whole time you heard, you, you heard me raise my, the, the whole time you, you heard me raise my tongue. Bro, he never got the call. Bro, what happened, you, you had put her out the house? Because he was trying to say you put some water out the house. She was out front, and she she went in the car with the security guard. Then she got out of the car. That's the problem. 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 He never. She never was in the backyard, right? That's what he said. Tell me why I was looking for this girl the whole time. She was in his car. He did say she was in the car. You my security. You my security. Are you fucking? Also said that she got out. When she got out. I done woke up by then. When I woke up, I said she on my front porch. She asked for a phone. I walk inside to get a phone. When I come back, she's sitting right there. Nah, get the fuck out. Which one is that, though? The short one, man. The little short light scale one? Yeah, I had a flight. I had a flight. Yeah, I had a flight for it. Both dead. I'm finna get you a confirmation of me and a picture. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. So, that's what I'm trying to say. So, Mayweather, dog, that's the one you said get out, right? That's the one you ain't want in the house, right? the house. Yeah, that's the one you ain't want in the house. And that's the one, and then that's the one when you woke up, she was in the house. Yeah. And she's supposed to be outside the house. When I woke up, she was on the porch. Okay. What I was on that porch. Yeah. One eleven. Yeah. She like I can't leave my phone. Gotcha. It's the porch. I'm like, I'm like, alright, bitch. I turn around, walk in the house. I had, I had a phone upstairs on top of my Xbox. Yeah, yeah. In my smoke room. Yeah, yeah. When I come back downstairs, she's sitting right there by the door on the chair. I had her phone. I get the fuck out. Mhm. Mm How the fuck they start fighting? She ain't gonna get out. I don't want to put my hands on my kids, man. That's when your other girl started? No, man. I want to grab her. I told Matt to get the girl out of my house. Man, I want my shoes. She had the knives. And then she went for the knives? She 
went for the night. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she not on the bottom. She man, this yeah. girl. I sleep with her. I know this girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, she on some shit like this. So on a girl like this, and just grab her, man, the knife hit her. Yeah, hit her. Man, she ain't no one grab her, man. Yeah. Oh, man. That makes sense. Cause it wasn't no, it wasn't no big ass puncture wound on. So, it, why the, why the wound, why the wound look like that? It's cause how, like, she tried to, you know, grab a hard. Yeah. yeah she ain't grabbing no something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause why the wound? Like, it's like, great trying to find some niggas in your room. Basically, she's at the D.L. Hepanio Mexican Cafe. Plus, it's her location for large parties, like restaurant, license, some cars, something like that, playing inside. Just talk to her, just talk to her. People here at the bar and waitress, two tables, nine fifty five at one twenty four. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I thought she was dead, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I thought when I, I ain't gonna lie, she she was badly fucking moving. Yeah, right. I keep telling her, man, girl gonna say something, man. You ain't talking, talking, trying to get you to talk to a boy, girl. Not saying that I'm scared she gonna lose all her blood. What well, these niggas ready to die over herpes? It's crazy. Yeah, something like I'm a fucking bitch. This nigga coming to court. He asking the same question. He basically trying to tell me I'm lying. He's dead broke, wondering what for me. Huh? Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I been told him I ain't gonna make no statement. I told him I ain't gonna be the type of nigga. One person. To this shit got like three brain cells. Me and Big Young Boy, Maya, and the girl they was with got like three, three brain cells all together. Okay, I'm gonna have my son grade. 
Somebody come here, man. I have to grade. It's out of state.
disgraceful situation that had a lot of people, including me, speaking out against them. And I'm a Zoe as well. And I had to make an announcement. Three years ago, if you go to my channel, you'll find that video. And a lot of people showed it love. No real man would stand behind that. Now, basically, I wish the beef could end everywhere. It's so pointless. And I'm tired of losing our black men. They need better guidance to move forward. But I wasn't the only one against what happened to Boulevard's Quake and G-Money's Memorial in Little Haiti. Bruno Mali and some OG Haitians had something to say to those youngins from the west side of Little Haiti. It's on this side. You feel me? What? A lot of that shit. What? I don't want no representation. Nigga shit. Ain't too much voice for speaking for it. That man, that man beneficial in Little Haiti, man. Been coming through. So I got fed by that man. That man, Fredo Bank, Fredo Bank, been coming through, been shooting videos, and I might have him pull up on the block today. I might have Fredo pull up on the block Straight today. Up. Niggas ain't fucking with Straight that up. boy, man. It's like, it's so sad. Like, niggas, niggas got this low-life bum mentality, bro. Like, when has it been cool to be, like, looking at niggas like, ooh, look what that nigga got. I want it. Nigga, work for it. Go get it, nigga. What? Go get it, nigga. Go get it, bro. Go get it, bro. Hey, I know a lot of them niggas on here. Y'all niggas stop being around niggas that don't believe in they self. And they want to use you young niggas as crash dummies. And no plans or, for their life or their future. But they want to use young niggas to pull off dumb agendas. Man, come get with some real niggas, man. Come get with some niggas that's trying to go places. And they ain't hating on nobody, man. Let's be uh, trying to figure out what's a real nigga. Who's a real nigga, man? on this side you feel me you feel what? now i just don't understand killing each other over emotional outrage that can't be contained it's just bs to me and at the end of the day man if you want to know the situation to who is this g money because a lot of y'all are new to this he was a great spunk kid who basically was trying to make it out of baton rouge and things kind of went left based on certain people who he offended and that led to his unfortunate demise. Now, this is the news report of his situation. A fatal shooting on Dallas Drive this morning. The victim identified by family as a well-known rapper. Bad news to murder captain, man. Everybody needs to straighten up right now. The victim, 22-year-old Garrett Burton, better known as the real G Money, was found dead in a parking lot around 1.30 this morning. Now his family is calling for the violence in Baton Rouge to come to an end. They see what happened right here with G Money, bro. It's so real. If person don't realize it, man, everybody down here in this world need to love each other, bro. Instead of everybody killing each other out here, look at it. Police say there are no motives or suspects at this time. Anyone with information should give police a call. A fatal now, imagine G Money, Young Boy, and True Bleeder was all on one song together. Imagine what that would do for the game. Now, G Money, unfortunately, we know what happened with his demise because un there was a guy that's associated with NBA Young Boy by the name of NBA Little Pat. Now, Little Pap was the one who took the plea deal and admitting that he killed G Money. And they only gave him five years, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get to that. But can you imagine cities like where I'm from, Florida, Briar County, if they knew all you get for murder is snitching on yourself and you'll get five years only? All cities across America will literally be in hell if they're not in that place already. Now, Little Pap right here that's the one that got everybody saying a thousand percent young boy you know did it or whatever allegedly and young boy said it through raps allegedly and things like that went left now little pap agreed with this demarcus fields 28 nicknamed nba you know they put lip pap but it's supposed to be little pap but anyways was an associate of local rap artist nba young boy according to a second degree murder indictment filed against fields two years ago he was the trigger man who shot and killed g money 22 whose real name is gary burton outside his music studio dallas drive in september of 2017 and to be real with you guys i didn't know it goes so long or it goes towards there now long live g money you feel me the real g money that is forever in this life and the afterlife i hope 
and have faith that you're in your own paradise created by yourself in the name of all the mighty alpha and omega how can you give a person a plea deal for murder kill a rapper you're good if you snitch you can do any crime and basically a snitch take a plea deal and you'll be out under five years now before i continue with my rant fredo bang would respond to the haitians destroying you know and i'm not gonna put that on the haitians i'm gonna say the young crash dummies who were in west little haiti you can't put that on the haitians when real og haitians called that bs out it's basically crash dummies around the world including united states of america who are willing to listen to these wash up old heads who have nothing to live for who are greedy jealous and envy and they're too weak and frail to do what they want to do so they get an impressionable mind like these young dudes who can't wait to get clout for anything so fredo is going to respond to it and this is what he basically had to say in the name of g in the name of quick he says karma comes in many shapes and sizes then he gets on with a little bit more stop asking me about them that goof ass shit man All the people, mis- I pray for all the misguided people. Man. They lost, lost out here. They lost. You know what I'm saying? You know? I agree with Fredo Bang. And what's terrible about the situation is, man, we gotta be honest. We gotta stop competing to be the worst and start a healthy competition you feel me what i'm saying smoke gang family being a better you no trophies are given out in the end so you can keep going back and forth my it's like this my question basically to these hotheads when will it stop i understand revenge bloodshed it only keeps going but who's going to be the mature uh, grown-up and eventually just had enough of this pain. And I'm who am I to tell you how to get and avenge your loved ones? I understand. But at what point in time do we re- respect the dead? But I guess if we can't respect the living, how can I expect us to respect the dead? Now, standing on business, it doesn't mean these clout antics of chasing clout. It means taking care of your family making sure self-preservation gets enacted by any means necessary i just don't understand how this is going but i personally feel nba young boy had nothing to do with this one right here this giving me vibes of co tell i'm gonna make a separate video because someone hit me in my dms and said earlier that day one of the junkies out there claimed they seen feds pull up put a mask on and did what they did i don't know how Ooh. true that is but it's not far-fetched. We've seen COINTEL operate in this way to let our young men continue to basically wipe out each other until nobody is left. And no safe place. Kids can't even play at the playground anymore because of these violence getting enacted on one another. Now, look, man, I'm DJ Bless, one of the best one. I- this been Tim money now do these charades that people is playing and all of that man i've been seeing what's going on nigga i've been laying back nigga just seeing what y'all gonna say about it you see what i'm saying you know i didn't want to be the first one to hop up on it man and it seems like a lot of you niggas ain't talking right and y'all ain't talking how you supposed to be talking on this situation nigga so you already know the honey mob is back up in the building nigga and we showing face nigga strap nigga you already know what they did the g money grave site nigga straight up and down and you already know it's gonna be something to pay behind that nigga you know what i'm saying that's real talk you see what they did you know what I'm saying? You see everybody that was cool with G Money coming out the woodworks and they saying something about it at this point, man. Cause niggas is taking it too far, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now what if it was a nigga standing out there beside the graves? You know what I mean? Sight like Michael Miles, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, Fat Chapo letting you know what it is, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You know what I'm saying? And him and his homeboys don't like what somebody else homeboys did, nigga. And that's real talk. Okay, this ain't nothing to be playing with right here, bro. We talking about 
the lowest of the low, man. You know what I'm saying? And when you're the lowest of the low, nigga, you would do anything, bro, for clout. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no shock value for real. The thing is, like Fredo said, man, you niggas got to claim it, man. He want to see which one of y'all going to claim it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, y'all got to take whatever happened, bro. Y'all put y'all family members in the way when y'all do stuff like this, bro. This is what y'all got to realize. We can't keep normalizing this. Stuff like this is lame, bro. If you know niggas that's doing stuff like this, bro, then, you know what I mean, for you to be around them says a lot about you if you ask me, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're speaking on them and talking about the dead or whatever. We ain't with that. You know what I'm saying? Confredo looking at a lot of these niggas sideways, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, he talk about the dead. You know what I'm saying? So, other people talk about the dead, but he ain't out here. You know what I mean? Vandalizing people's gravesite, nigga. That's that's to a whole nother level, bro. And you and I know it, nigga. That's going too far. I don't care what you said. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these niggas like, ain't no rules in warfare. Ain't none of this. A lot of these niggas ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Where these niggas be coming from? Nigga, niggas be around about 18, 19 21, nigga, you couldn't have been in the mix, nigga. You know what I'm saying? What it is is your uncle and the people you know was in the mix, so now you want to rep on something too, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But you're playing with somebody with long money. You see what I'm saying? And when you got long money, you can make things happen, man. When and wherever, nigga. And this is what I'm trying to tell you, beagle mouth having ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? St. Bernard face having ass niggas, man. That no matter how y'all try to diss the dead, you know what I'm saying? Things is going to come back and it's going to come back how I want to come back. Now, I'm going to let y'all hear what one thing is and be real said. And we're going to get back into it, nigga, straight up and down. Because this right here can't be tolerated, bro. Y'all fuck y'all think y'all from, man. My nigga, where y'all think y'all with, man? Y'all wanna go tear down the nigga grave? Y'all wanna go play at a nigga graveyard? Man, bro, let me know who did it, man, so I can put him in the wall next to my partners. It's all fucking mine, all shit, man. Where y'all fuck y'all think y'all from, man? My nigga, where y'all think y'all with, man? Y'all wanna go tear down the nigga grave? Y'all wanna go play at a nigga graveyard? Man, bro, let me know who did it, man, so I can put him in the wall next to my partners. Get that shit for a sack of niggas, man. Stupid ass niggas, bro. Niggas laying around there doing ignorant ass shit for a sack of niggas, man. Niggas saying it, bro. That shit saying it, man. Yeah, that, that's, that's facts. That's facts. That shit was paid to do. Now you already see what it was, you bitch. Kangaroo arm, hand ass, nigga, KFC, crispy chicken wrap, eating ass, nigga, you already know what it is, man. A lot of people out of pocket, so niggas gonna speak on it, man. And that's just how it's gonna go. Like I said, it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna have to pay for this. And it is what it is, nigga. And there may be some innocent niggas that ain't got nothing to do with it. But at the end of the day, y'all gotta look at it like this, man. Y'all can say it ain't no rules, but at the end of the day, it's called principles and it's called morals, man. And at the end of the day, we ain't asking for no street code. What we asking for is, is if you're going to do something like this, nigga, stand on it. You know what I'm saying? And claim it. Know what I mean? Don't go do something like this and a nigga don't know you had something to do with it. How you click ain't had nothing to do with it. Y'all tell on everything else. You know what I mean? Man, at the end of the day, like I said, we can't normalize this behavior. We can't keep on getting this no light, bro. Because at the end of the day, man, when we keep giving it light, niggas want to do anything. You got people up on the internet digging up people. You know what I'm saying? Digging up ops. You know what I'm saying? And saying that, yeah, we at your ops. You at your brother grave site and we digging them up and stuff like this. And, and really attempting to actually dig up the person that they're talking about, man. You know what I mean? Whether it's an op brother, whatever the case may be, or whoever it is, man, and this is what we can't keep normalizing, bro, because at the end of the day, now, it's on some type of time where, when you get caught doing stuff like this, they're going to have to have niggas standing out there, you know, because it's too much going on, now, you know, God forbid they got inside it, you know what I'm saying, because we'll never know what they was trying to do, you know what I'm saying, because some people, you know what I mean, they done went inside people's graves, and they done took the whole casket out, bro, and it is what it is, it done happened before, bro, so niggas is doing too much, you ask me, man, it ain't nothing but a clout move, bro, but best believe, man, people gonna put that money on the street and find out who did this, man, and like I said, people ain't gonna take it lightly, man, so this is why it's a lot of showers that keep on happening, and be all, you know what I'm talking about when I say showers because it's stuff like this happening and this would another let it die man 
Y'all try them comments and let me know how y'all feel, man. It's getting wild out there, man. I'm out. Quick video here. But, man, people so disrespectful. So, Fredo Bang. Y'all know him. Baton Rouge, Louisiana rapper. His close friend, G Money. He was murdered while Fredo Bang was locked up. And he was also a rapper as well. Rest in peace to him. But when Fredo Bang came home, he kind of inherited uh, G Money's beefs that he was taking on. Most noticeable with NBA Young Boy. And also, Fredo Bang picked up what G Money left off. Fredo Bang career took off. So ever since then, he's been quote unquote putting on in the name of G. But it appears some people went to G Money's grave site and trashed it, cracked the tombstone, messed up the flowers. Just evil stuff, right? And this was Fredo Bang's response. So we playing with graves now? Y'all begging for it. I want one of you tough A.N. words to claim this. Now, rightfully so, Fredo Bang is mad as hell. But more so, I mean, like, what did these people accomplish? Seriously. You trashed the grave site. Congratulations to you. What else have you accomplished in life? Evidently, y'all don't believe in karma. Which is cool. But I'm a firm believer of what goes around comes around. And the scary thing about that, you never know how it's going to come back. Y'all just be begging for all of this negative energy. But nobody really going to suffer at the end besides y'all family and y'all friends. Because you're going to be dead as hell. You get what I'm saying? All because you wanted some ee hees and ha-ha's by disrespecting a dead person's grave site. Right? Now, unfortunately for your family, they get to reap the benefits from your consequence. But on the flip side, even though Fredo Bane my guy, right? Y'all know that's my guy. But he's not innocent in this either. I mean, look at the energy you put out, fam. You made an entire music video where you're supposedly disrespecting a dead op at their funeral. So when you do stuff like that, trashing a grave site is right up the alley. You get what I'm saying? Karma. What goes around comes around. Life imitates art. You can't be disrespecting other people's dead loved ones and expect them to show respect for yours. That's all I'm saying. Horrible situation. I hate that uh, G Money's family even had to endure this at all. Especially his kids. The dude got kids and everything, man. But I'll be a hypocrite to say Fredo Bain didn't somewhat invite this energy to happen. So be mindful of that next time y'all go dissing all of these dead people. You got dead loved ones as well. So if you want respect, let it be mutual. Rest in peace to G Money. Condolences to his friends and family. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man. Follow me on Instagram. You watching our Airman Central. Let me see Okay. Okay, I'm going to have my son grade. Somebody come in, man, I'm going to have to grade. It's all C. Yeah, I got the best of the job, like, come in, it's not a grade.
I'll be back. So y'all see for that situation, man. G money shit, man. That's wild. You feel me? Um, this nigga been dead for um probably eight years now, and motherfuckers are still mad. You feel me? It just shows you, man. Words really do have impact on people's lives, man. And how it could change the whole world up if you, if you if you use it right, gang. The thing about this situation is though that you know, you know, this was a whole movement for stop the violence for, you know, what I'm saying G Money family and the rappers that was in that uh, system. It's just escalating the violence even more. You know, we got rappers who telling people put a name on it, Fredo Bang, and it's like, man, you know, you want to protect your your homies, especially when they got when they got clapped while you was in jail. You want to protect your people. But you know, you can't really do nothing at this time, man. You know, when your when your um homie grave get vandalized like that, man, you can try to look for the niggas. Put the money on the streets. But sometimes you still you still can't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just it, it could be somebody who don't even have nothing to do with the situation. That's the sad part. These niggas probably don't have nothing to do with it. And they just want to fuck up they, um, up this nigga grave. You dig what I'm saying? Like, imagine if this nigga didn't have no money on to fix that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it would just be like that. You feel me? But they probably got grave policies and shit that can fix it up if something happens. But, you know, that's why I said, man, just cremate my ass. You know what I'm saying? Put me in the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Because all that graveyard shit, fuck no. You know what I'm saying? All that graveyard shit, nah, cremate my ass and, and throw my ashes in the ocean. Like, cause motherfuckers are spiteful, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, like I said, when you live that type of lifestyle, when you rapping, you toting tools, and you ready to take niggas out, they, they, they can't wait for you to, to pass away, you know what I'm saying? They got, they had a memorial that nigga, and his homeboy was supposed to, I guess he passed over with him or some shit, or sometime after. Uh, they put paint all over that they murder like a y'all seen they be like bow. You think that's that's wild. You know what I'm saying? How long it took for them niggas to make that shit? Just gone. And I don't know if they fixed it, you know what I'm saying? Like shit, it make you not even wanna have a mural, you know what I'm saying? Put up. You feel me? And it's like That woke a lot of people up and and and, and um in that area. To, to understand that this violent shit is not good, you know what I'm saying? And that we losing people is not good. So it just make us want to come closer together. But then, you know, we, we, we work on it. They, they kind of slow down. And then it's happening. You feel me? So it just make you feel like, damn, you know, um, what they get out of it? They get paid for this. Was it really the 12, the, the cops trying to motherfucking start up some beef so they can get the murder rate back up so they can get some more money on off us and have some more shit to do? You know what I'm saying? That's what, like, y'all gotta understand, man. This system is, is profiting off of black success, black failure, black death. Um, they're using the religion against us, which the Bible is real. But it's like when you go to these churches, man. And that's why I say, man. This is the thing. I don't really like churches like that. Like, I love Yahweh and what he meant for the church. But this is shit. It's, it's a whole money grab. I seen a, a thing where black churches made over $800 billion off of black people. And it's like, bruh. These churches don't have free Wi-Fi. They don't have free Wi-Fi. They don't have free power outlets. They barely want to give out food. But y'all expect us to give y'all all this money on when y'all don't even help out the community like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, y'all want us to do all this to go up beyond, go to y'all church and pay for all this stuff. And y'all don't have nothing for us. Y'all don't give us the, the to give us anything to help us out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all won't, 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 and won't, but don't want to give nothing out. That's the thing about black churches, man, that... That I feel like they don't rob the black community, man. And you know, it's like 
it's sad because you know we don't we work so hard and we gotta get we get, they, they give our money to these churches and these churches better do anything for us. So you know that's the thing about um the shit they just using black people to control the beef and make money on our foot. That's what police system do. They make money on our foot. Send us to jail, prison, they make money off of us. When niggas die, they make money off of us. With organs and all that melanin and shit in us. It's just like, bro, we know we know who we are as people. And they mad. That's why they mad, because they know who we are. And they try at any part to stop us, because they know what they faith is. You know what I'm saying? And, and this thing about the NBA Young Boy shit. We think it's the NBA Young Boy shit. I don't know why these niggas... Money gotta be some crazy ass shit, man, because this bitch is literally fighting over this nigga who got herpes. It's like, bruh, even that young boy, I never did like his music. I barely, like, him painting his nails, wearing makeup. It's like, bruh, all this other shit he does, I just, I don't know, man. This, this, this shit gets weird. <laughs> and it's like, man, this nigga really, this bitch about to really kill this that bit over the crib. But all together, this got three brain cells. You know what I'm saying? This, that IQ got to be at least by negative 13. Like, these niggas got the, the bottom of the barrel type of shit. They, just, they got a lot of money on. And that's the thing about this shit. Money make niggas think that they smart or they very valuable. These niggas don't be smart as nothing. These niggas just be retarded who just got money. These niggas have no shit controlling people or anything. Because these niggas are retarded. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man. I guess NBA Young Boy had a girl at, at the crib and she pulled up and she got mad. And I guess NBA Young Boy was trying to explain that she didn't want he didn't want that bitch in the in the place because she was with a bodyguard. So I don't know if she was cheating with the bodyguard or what. Man, these hoes are scandalous, man. Never trust a bitch. With anything. You know what I'm saying? They give it up or give it to the next nigga. You know what I'm saying? You you think you helping these bitches out? You think you you trying to help these bitches out? They use everything you done gave them. You done, you, everything you done gave them, they give it to the next nigga. And act like they ain't do nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's why I never trust a bitch, believe a bitch, or really to put anything into like, you know what I'm saying? Of anything, of what? Of anything, you know what I'm saying? To a bitch. I put the love or... The, the the time, but other than that, not even time. Eventually, you know what I'm saying. Just situation, man. You gotta know what's what's what. You know what I'm saying. And it's like you know, she about to stab this bitch up. Bitch, both y'all got herpes at this point. Her, the herpes jerpies. You know what I'm saying. And it's like, man, I, I just don't understand it, man. You know, when you when I guess when you got a lot of money on and power and your rapping is at the, almost at the number one or some shit. My, they hoes go crazy, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bruh, you ain't you money, ain't you Floyd Mayweather, um, daughter, bitch? You ain't got no hands, bitch? Why you picking up a knife, bitch? You should have came up with the hands and ta -ka -ta -ka -ta. you know what I'm saying? But I think she was just mad at that moment, man, because NBA young boy was trying to kick her. Out. I mean, the girl was trying to kick him out, kick her out, and shit, man. I just that just bring unnecessary attention to yourself, to each other, man. You know what I'm saying? But what do you expect? Bitch, you gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you ain't trying to get out the coochie. The bitch gone. It's so many other bitches. Hey, shit. You gone for three, four months. What do you think a nigga gonna do? Just beat me 34, 8, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Nigga went and got some more pussy. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, that's the big issue right here because, you know, these hoes be thinking that they pussy worth everything and like bro you don't even want to give it out but you want to get mad when another nigga fuck on another bitch but you ain't trying to give out the coochie and you gone like what you know what I'm saying it just makes no sense you know what I'm saying how these hoes be thinking like they can control a situation you know what I'm saying but the only thing they control is they fucking mouth you know what I'm saying it's like anybody young boy crook was trying to talk to the 12 about what's going on bro I'm like bro I don't fucking know what's going on man it's like, man, you know, these celebrities, man, they have, it's like, bro, y'all rich as hell, bitch. Like, fuck, what else wrong with y'all niggas? <laughs> but y'all understand, these niggas go through some money, can't heal everything. 
Money can't heal everything, and then you know who knows what they done to get to them, get to them the bag. That could be demons trying to get at them because how they got to the bag anyway. You know what I'm saying? But you know, motherfuckers, man, they still don't want just happy with the man, want the clout, the fame, and the success. I ain't brought down, bitch. You just on some extra ass shit for no reason, man. So I just, man, I I was looking at this video, man. I, it's just sad, man. You know, this is still how the generation is coming to, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, this was 2020, you know what I'm saying? But now it's coming out. I don't know why it takes so long for this shit to come out, you know what I'm saying? It could have easily came out. But I'm glad you, you did Crip. It didn't go too far. She, I guess she didn't die. She just came through and swung with two knives like this or some shit, like she was saying or some shit. Bitch got hit with a pop, pop, pop. Came out with the knife and ding, ding, ding. Shit crazy, man. NBA young boy, man, I don't fucking know. Oh, I don't fucking know what that nigga be, be, be chatting about, chatting about, man. You know what I'm saying? But shit, hey man, um, stay in tune with Big Crip, man. This was a good video. We got more videos coming up. Um, the grind don't stop, man. Along the chairs, the wheelchairs away. You dig north side shit, man. Crip and shit, man. Texas, man. Um, down south shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We really. Be stepping out your man. You know, we trying to stay, see what's going on and what's going and what's happening, you dig? And, hey, this was a moment. I like, damn. This happened after the, the interview came out with the young boy, with the, with the, the, the interrogation shit, with the young boy shit. I'm like, damn. That shit wild, bro. You know, the family got to be sad. You feel me? Like, the son singing happy birthday to the dad at 26 is insane. You know what I'm saying? And this was like, it makes the son probably feel some type of way. Because when he get old, he probably want to do some crazy shit. That's like Pop Smoke's son. Pop Smoke's son sitting at the grave site of his dad. You know what I'm saying? Head down and shit. Yeah, they got to pick their heads up, man. It's like, it's sad, man. You know, you want to see your, your people grow up with you. And you the kids not not supposed to be burying their they, they, um, they parents. But then they got to sit here and bury their parents, man. Some of them don't even know who their parents is because... They barely even met them or, or, ne or never seen them because they were babies, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you live in a sad world with the, 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 well, the black community, man. We we been through some shit, man. The white people system put us in a shit where, you know, we fighting back, but we, we, we been through some shit. We going through some shit, man, and we got to keep on fighting, game. We can't let, let this shit just br break us down and not, and not understand what's our true goal, and that's winning and going to heaven type shit. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to get stuck down with these motherfuckers and go to hell where these white people going. They going straight to hell. You know what I'm saying? All these fake Jews and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want y'all to understand, man. We're going to stay turned. TikTok, Rumble, uh, YouTube. TikTok, we got 100K. I went on live on, on TikTok shit, for my 1K special. I hope y'all enjoy it. I went live twice. So, we're going to keep on posting these vids. Hey, we're going to get better and better. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all going to see your boy turning up. I believe in myself. People might not believe, but as long as I believe in myself and Yahweh believe in me, and I believe in Yahweh, we up and stuck. You know what I'm saying? So never give up on yourself. Never ha stop having faith. And always keep that that grind, that movement, man, because when they give up, you going hard in the bitch. So, hey, man, that's how we're going to say turn in this bitch. Hood don't start crip shit. <laughs> Hey, Dad, you know what I when we need to talk about this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so. Hold that camera.